What's important, I think, about this is you're helping a lot of other children, but you're actually helping the families help their children. Um, and that's honestly one of the most difficult things with, with autism. Recently, just in the, the past academic year, I had this opportunity to work with faculty uh, from the Art and Architecture Department, Dr. Sean Elquist. And he suggested this project where um, his students would actually create a sculpture as an input mechanism to a software system. And then my students in EECS 41 would create the software that these sculptures would drive. The project builds upon my research in uh, textiles, and in particular, um, this new technology that we've gotten to the college, which gives us the ability to um, manufacture our own textiles with an industrial knitting machine. The opportunity that gave us is to um, be able to highly customize these textiles, and not just in the means in which they're used structurally, but really beyond that, start to imagine that these tactile textile interfaces could be used as really unique sensory tools and technologies for children that have issues. In particular, we then looked at children uh, with autism spectrum disorder, which often have these underlying issues with sensory processing. And I thought, well, that's interesting and, and wild and just like a whole new approach. You know, I never thought of sculpture as an input device for the software that my students would create. And then the part that was really the hook for me is he said, by the way, um, I have a five-year-old daughter who's autistic. And the sculpture is really a way of interfacing with her and increasing her ability to communicate. And that really, really hooked me. And so we worked on that on creating different interfaces between sculpture and software um, with the, the idea of his daughter being able to communicate. X41, we were helping Ara, who is a five-year-old girl with ASD, that's autism spectrum disorder. What we were doing is creating interactive textile sculptures. So taking touchable, tangible sculptures and making them a cool experience for Ara. We were given a small amount of uh, stimulation early on in like through education about autism and about what the knitting machine could achieve. A lot of people with autism have difficulty kind of measuring where they are in space, knowing how much pressure they need to apply to accomplish certain tasks. And textile displays are a good way to do this because uh, they're really stretchy. You can put your hand in them and feel around. So a textile display is a good way to help them kind of learn how much pressure they need to use to do certain things. My name's Connor and I'm uh, presenting the bands all here. Everyone in the class pitched uh, proposals. Then the best 20 or so were selected by the instructors and we presented in class and recruited other students to our idea. One thing that the class focused on was the teamwork aspect, was the design aspect. And part of that was collaborating with architecture students. They look at things absolutely different than we do. We look at something and we think, how can we make it more functional? Or how can we implement our ideas on this? And they look at it and they say, how can we use this space? How is this space going to be interesting? How are people going to be engaged by the space? There are two very different fields, so figuring out how can we talk to each other in you know, a, a kind of common language, and how do we start to merge these two different expertises together. It was wonderful just seeing the artists talk. They, they tend to be very visual, obviously, and they're talking about shapes, and our students are talking about software and devices and how that all mashed up into this, this, these really nice projects that, that melded together both worlds. It was a particularly rich experience. Our project was a big textile display that had a coloring book page on it. You use it by, you just kind of put your hand on the textile display and then color appears on the textile where you draw your hand, just like in a coloring book. And if you push in harder, it kind of changes color and the circle you're drawing gets a little bigger. So the way we register touches is that there's a Microsoft Connect behind the textile because Connects are really good at detecting depth. It reads where the depth of the textile is and then after that, whenever a user pushes into the textile from the front, the Connect sees that, oh, the depth's changing there, so uh, you should project some color onto that area. 
it's really interesting going from the original pitch, which is basically three minutes worth of words, to this final implementation about 10 weeks later. And, and just, you know, the, the elegance of the final solution versus the beginning of a three minute pitch is just seeing the, the evolution is always extraordinary. Working with the um, students in, in computer science was a you know, unique experience for myself as well as for my students. Um, it's not a common collaboration to take place in the field of architecture, but it was quite exciting as well. And I think there was a really valuable interest on both sides to engage the other person's expertise. The single most important thing that I learned from this class was creating products that aren't just for a typical user. Creating products that can help people and how my products, my stuff, my creations uh, are being used. Seeing Ara interact with the structure that made my semester, it was a very brief interaction. There was a lot of stimulation in the room, but it was wonderful to see her uh, push our structure, it made noise, lights came up, she smiled for a moment and just looked happy, and that just absolutely made all the work worth it. We never intended to succeed. I mean, we intended to have a rich, deep, meaningful capstone experience for the students. But some of the projects that they've come up with have just been absolutely astounding. So we're in the process of trying to figure out how to continue to develop these software products and make them actually you know, commercially viable so that we can get them to a broader audience of the, the, the children that they were originally intended for. I originally thought I was kind of done with the project after the class ended, but I've actually continued to work with the architecture professor. We actually were able to further it through the research through making project um, and actually introduce that to a, a local therapy center which works with children with autism and have them integrated as a part of the daily routine with the you know 10 or 20 children that they um, work with. I've never really had kind of anything that I've worked on used at anywhere near that level. I'm really happy that I had this opportunity. It's going to be used by lots of children with autism spectrum disorder and I mean hopefully it'll make a difference in their lives. Hopefully they just find it fun. I mean that would be good enough for me. Yeah.